still figuring out some technical difficulties. Can't really hear each other right now, but we got quite a matchup for us here as uh, we get a first serve from the Lionel Gruel New Nordiques out of Quebec. The Quebec winners there. LG starting off strong with a nice solo block against the right side. So starting lineups for the two teams just before we get started here for the uh, quite a good showing from the program as you just uh, just took your leave there, hey? Yeah, I know it's been great to say, whoa, here we go. Women also got the berth to host ACC uh, Provincials back to back over these past couple of seasons, which just proves how great the Canada Games Center truly is. Everybody wants to be a part of it. Cap doing a good job at, oh baby. Lakeland's gonna have some crazy fans coming out here. Always very loyal and RDP, local team. It's gonna be great. And that matchup is at six against Humber. The winner of this game will look to play the winner of Lakeland. This is Nia Mboma with a float serve. Nice pass from uh, Waskiewicz. Backwards to, that was Trigny dug up well by the Blues. Number 17, Kuznick finding way down the line again. Float serve down the line, Mboma with a nice pass. High ball to Gato, finds a piece of the block and gets the tool. Love that. For the Nordiques, left side out to Genero. Good pickup by Gato. Kuznick gets a chance out of the back row. Got a rally here. Middle to Terigny again, and finally, Natalie Rourke figures out the puzzle. Nice dig by Easingwood. Tight ball as Kuznick. Nice heads up play and a good dig by Easingwood as well. Oh, yeah. Kuznick out of the right side, and that's a nice steal for the Blues. Serving sub. Good dig from the Blues. Easingwood goes out to Gateau again. There's the hand she was looking for, but played perfectly from the Nordique block. Who to Gutrantura, showing why she's a first team all conference. Oh, and as she's. I don't know if you see this, Maddie, but Dubuque. Very impressed by their physicality and their drive right now. I'm excited to see how this is going to go. Cap is hopefully going to make a response, but the Nordiques are doing a great job. And a crazy offensive rotation, especially when your setter is in one for the Nordiques. We see. Uh, Spencer from Genero. Nice pass from Bauma. Easingwood backwards to Kuznick, and that's that deep shot we're talking about. A nice side out from the Capilano Blues. Uh, sometimes you think it's over your shoulder and it's out, and sometimes it drops in. That's a great shot. Nice yeah. pass from Dufour. Dubu Ventura backwards to that was terrific out of the right side as I've been mixing her up with Metho. Point of that, just coming off, kind of shaking her head a little bit, but she seems like a really fun player. She'll be back at it, no problem. Julia Terrific, nice pass from Gateau as the other Gateau gets a chance to swing. And that is Vanessa with a nice left side kill. We were kind of talking about this before. Maddie is number eight, and a Dubu Ventura, the setter, is setting out of the middle. So you're gonna see Brodeur out of the out of the middle with the lefty. Oh, and that's a nice block from Easingwood. Sorry, as I finished my thought there. I'm, I'm putting that right on Easingwood's head. Step from nice Sibby Bowes. Jaden Easingwood, third year from Calgary. Not too far down the road south from here. Out of system ball, tight ball for Kuznick. I love that play. She finds a way through it as Annika Gato. We could see the good old five setter here. Metho catching Gato a little bit short there. Oh, I thought I might have hit the antenna, but it must have found a way through. Oh, with a nice serve, Genero gets the ball back after she passes it. High off the block, can it be chased down? Nice hand by Gato as her sister puts it over. Tight ball, Dubu Fincher is going to have to make a play. Oh, Dufour with a nice cover there, but... He's just, he likes to sit. He's not really up there involved in that type of way, but he's got his own thing that he's doing. He's got a clipboard, looking invested. Yeah, it's funny, I didn't even notice that actually either. Both coaches haven't stood up too, too much, and you'll... Oh, these two programs are decided to be involved that way. This is Vanessa Gatto, and serve Dubu Ventura backwards to Metho. She gets a dig out of the rotation, doing everything for this team here. Oh, and Wama finding a way, yeah, finding a way through the block. To call that second time out, it must be coming at any time. Sometimes the net's your enemy, and sometimes it's your bestie. Gato, nice serve as Wamsuit will fight that one. Oh, and Metho putting that one into the block. And, and she's very excited about being able to bring people out. It's 
see what they've got going over there. So what do we go into the timeout? We go into the timeout, Nordique's down 21-17. Okay, so they're... Oh, a nice steal out of the timeout, but unfortunately... It's difficult to bring it back, especially when it's just out of reach. Naim Bala, third year from the Naim OBC. Putting the Nordiques in trouble, and that's going to do it with an ace. 25-20 as Kaplan. All right, and welcome back to third set action here of our quarterfinal number one of the 2024 CCWA Women's Nationals. Capilano, excellent response out of that first timeout, winning set number two, 25-20. Push it and, and manipulate it off to the side, and it just looked like she aimed a little bit lower. Yeah, the set, set wasn't in the best spot for her to kind of make any kind of play, but unfortunately it just didn't work out. Nice turnaround from Natalie. Definitely the keys for both of these two teams' success is just that pass being in a good spot to keep the middles activated and keeping those one-on-one -on -one outside options available. Just like that as Mbama fists that one down with an emphatic third kill or third point of this third set. Jaden Eastonwood, third year from Calgary, putting the Nordiques in trouble as Wasky was all just have to put this one over. Gato with a nice dig high and off the net. Blauma finding a way through the block with two force, doing a good job staying outside of the shadow, and that's kind of that two hits we were talking about there, Dubu Ventura. A little bit of a dagger to the heart when you do it. It's Especially like, when oh. you're a setter, yeah, too. Yeah. Please. Good set from Dubu Ventura, and unfortunately that one was just a little bit too high for Julia Tarigny to reach it there, and Capilano is starting to really take off. And she came actually kind of into that 6-1 area to pick up that free ball really showing how she commands the court and she knows what she's doing on this free ball transitioning letting all of her outsides be able to do their job as well good scramble play from the nordiques but unfortunately that ball just kind of hits it and you're like oh, come on yeah. all the way down here for nothing that assistant play from the nordiques again as we kind of said your positive game script is going to be around that first contact if you can pass and serve really well that influences just everything else in the game of volleyball. Plays to get themselves hyped up, but they gotta stay nice and calm. Continue to play each other's game. But the Blues are definitely bringing the pressure on the service side. Getting another ball back as Dubu Ventura trying to find hands. She doesn't seem too confident in her argument there. Oh, tough play, this is out of system, but Kuznick and a good chance to tur turn on that one. Dubu Ventura to the left, he broke Dura to the right side. Nice block from Bowes as she keeps it alive. And Gato gets a chance to swing on it. What a turnaround from the Blues. Love it. Floater, nice pass from Jenna Rowe as Waskiewicz goes down the line. Oh nice man, dig. off her shoulder, but she kept it alive. That was Kuznick. Nice recycle from Gato. Her sister picks it up. Oh, and that is just go. such a nice play. I love a good recycle when you don't have any options. Just like Kuznick, third year from Delta, BC. Capilano starting to get comfortable here in this third set, up 11 to 5. Dubu Ventura a little bit off the net. Is there touches on that? Yes, there was. She'll get another chance to turn around. That's Waskowitz and Easingwood and Bo. Toronto to BC. Nice chase down there from Annika. Let's see if they can keep it alive here. That's a tough ball for Dubor to pass. Right side to Brodeur, the lefty. And Brahma does a good job stepping up and keeping this alive. Gateau finding room through the cross side. He's definitely making a name for player of the game potential here. Dubu Ventura doing the same on the other side. Oh, another nice kick from Kuznick. We've got a strong rally from both sides. Roll shot, nice adjustment from the back row here. Oh, and you hate to see that. Dubu Ventura has to make that one little help call. And it didn't look like Dufour called that. And that's a good pickup from the Gateau sisters in the back row. They're covering a lot of court. Free ball pass. Dubu Ventura goes outside. But again, some miscommunication here from the offensive piece of the Nordiques. Bama finding a way through, and it's almost just anything that the cap. Jaden Eastonwood, Capilano on a good rotation with their setter in the back row now. Straight up to, that was, uh, shoot, that was Terigny with a nice pickup from the Blues. Free ball, oh, and that is just absolutely unfortunate. Keeping the, the foot to the floor and just closing out these sets, not letting the team get back into it. Nice pickup by Gato, holy. She's just everywhere. Yeah. Out of system, gets ball for Jenna Rowe, but holy Mia. But just for my angle, I actually didn't even see um, Easingwood in there for the pot, so I thought that was going to score. That's why I was like, <gasps> yeah. Bama with a nice pass to Easingwood, straight up to Kuznick out of the right side. Kuznick finding a way. 
floor. Float serve in play. General with a nice pass to uh, Kuche. Sorry, that was Wolfskin. Work gets a chance to set. Kuznick puts her tight and finds a way through the block. An excellent assist from Natalie Roar there. But yeah, both of these teams are trying to play for gold, uh, gold medal here. And there's the point that they need not have. Capilano up two sets to one here as we got a rally ensuing with Embona heading out at the left side. Dufour just puts out an arm and keeps that alive. Dubu Ventura, nice block as we are just going back and forth here. Nordis coming out on the positive side of that. Flat and clean when the ball comes off your hand with little to no spin and just has a nice flow to it. And yeah. super fast. It really catches your passers off guard and they're, in my opinion, the hardest to pass. Yeah. Wonderful pass, though. We don't call that a fling, we call that a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That this ball just comes up so heavy and quick, and I'm liking how she's figuring out her shots. She's really... I'm so sorry. Oh, you're good. Okay, out of system, play four, do four to the right side to Brodeur. The left, you trying to find a set of hands, but maybe use a bit more of a vulnerable piece, the outside of the hand, rather than just going for the meat of that block. Oh, I'm bored. Catch short. That's a tough serve, but she kept it alive. Oh, Gato yeah. with an excellent out of system play, getting the kill. We saw her miss a couple in a row, but putting a strong serve in play and getting a good ball back for her team. Good touch from the Blues defense there. Backwards to Kuznick. High up the hands with Roder with a nice dig. Oh no. no. And you hate to see it, unfortunately. Someone's on corner trick me. Sorry, folks. Right side, Kuznick with an easy dig by 2 4. That's an all complimentary off the block of. Uh, to Rigney there. Gateau with him trying to get that shot. Oh, no. And unfortunately, Gateau trying to... We've seen her come in each one of these sets, and she really puts us a hard standing float serve in place, but she's kind of got that, and she's not going to get an ace. She's missing it. Over bump. That's what we need. Oh, no. And unfortunately, Plamundin just... And Jenna Rowe learns her lesson and chases that one down. Waskowitz, nice play, but he seemed with a good touch on the block. Bauma. Good day by Genero. Ventura backwards to Brodeur. She gets blocked and unable to continue the contacts there. And this for Cap is definitely a kind of an unknown universe for them. They haven't been to Nationals. This is the first time in 10 years. So, yeah, first year coach, veteran squad. So, nice. Good luck. Yeah, they're really just leaning into it and just having some fun for it now. And the skill that we've seen a, a little bit here that people may not know of is called the pancake. It's when you've got your hand fall on the ground and you can get that ball dug up as long as it doesn't touch any part of the floor. And Cap and Nordiques are really using that. 22-15, I would, I would say this is realistic, but you can already tell John Swanson is kind of getting in some different players. Uh, we've seen Vanessa Gatto get sucked out. Uh, so maybe this, maybe something could happen, but but puts in a good spot for Waskowicz to take a turn. Kuznick out of the right side, back row, good dig by Genero. Dubu Venture to Waskowicz again, off the block, and that's point one. So a lot of the time you hear just chip away one point at a time. Good pass from Genero. Waskowicz gets a chance to close it down, and we are going to a fifth set here, 25-19. It's like the V&L, like we're going fine. This fifth set. Great way to start off the tournament. Jade Genero, spin serve and play. Annika Gatto, per Gatto perfect pass. And Bauma touched up well by Dubu Ventura, but she put it a bit too tight there. That's top side, so. So I'm thinking Capilano must be four and Nordiques must, maybe, maybe the other way around, but still, this is definitely a gritty match here. Nice dig by Kuznick. Easy Wood has to chase that one down from Bauma. Oh no, that's tough. You don't see that from Dufour. Like you said, we're in our first battle of five here. See how these two teams kind of compartmentalize these three mini battles to five in this fifth set. Nice pick up by Metho. Oh, they're going to let that one go. I thought that one was slow in her hands. But Alexa on start. Nice dig from Bose. That's always good when you have the middle server making that dig out of five, especially when Annika Gatto is on the bench. Nice uh, swing from Turigny, touched up well by the Blues. Waskowitz is trying to make a play, no, no touches. At those plays are hard when you see balls to five to make Bose make that first contact, even though she's not used to it. So let's see if out of the timeout they can win this first mini battle to five. Dufour with a nice pass to Dubu Ventura. Waskowitz gets blocked, but Dufour can't pick that one up. And there's our first mini battle. One to get the setter taken out, making the team be what we would call out of system. Yeah. That's definitely a tough rotation for the Nordiques to be in. 
Dubuque for sure definitely likes when Metho is in the front row. Tarigny. Oh, on that yeah, ball. I really like that approach all the way up until the ball side out because that could have been very much easily a seven to nothing game. Julia Trigny, St. Sophie resident, putting that serve into the net, and that is tough. That's what we like to call just free points, and yeah. a lot of teams just love free points. Easy wood. Through four with a nice pass again. Not sure why the teams are serving the liberos. <laughs> Maybe another middle look rather than having that lefty kind of go rogue. Dubu Ventura outside to Cluche Bouchard. Picked up easily by Gateau. Obama finds a way to get that nice tool. That Good pass from Gateau. Outside to her again, she takes a swing on it, but that's a nice dig by Cluche Bouchard. She's done a great job coming into this game. Yeah, there's no, no touches on that one, unfortunately. Lara... Right now, they're deep, they're playing free. All on the hand of Metho here, all over bump. Eastonwood has to make a play, strong uh, net front presence there. Jenna Rowe gets a chance to roll shot it, but Kuznick makes that dig. Oh, and Eastonwood, you could see it all the way with a nice dig by Kuznick. Oh, man, from Bauma. Another nice rally, but Dufour has to chase that one down. It's just going to be a free ball over. <laughs> Some madness ensuing. From Bauma to the left side. Roll shot, deep line, and what an absolutely beautiful shot there. Just would you rather have than Vanessa Gatto, the sole fifth year to on the service line here for you to close this uh, quarterfinal out. Jenna Rowe with a perfect pass to Dubu Ventura. She gets the ball back and Good gets luck. the chance to swing off the left side. Serves it, so you can expect her to maybe take some off. Good oh serve and play. Oh, Annika Gatto, perfect pass. And Bohoma, oh, another wow. nice cover there from Gatto. She wanted that. Yeah. Go get oh, it. Oh, and yeah. that's the point hands to are win up. it. But what a heck of a quarterfinal one for these two squads. Ten years later, we're going to the semis. Yeah. Yeah, and what a... Uh, and then shaking, yeah. and then we weren't shaking at the beginning, and then it's just kind of like, how many times am I going to touch your hand? <laughs> but, yeah, it's always nice to see the, uh, the camaraderie and just the respect that each institution has for each other. Athlete to athlete, you know, you're all here trying to do... Easier, any easier for either team as we wait for the player of the matches here. Yeah, it's got to be a little bit now. Yeah, she had an amazing game. 21 digs, or just 17 digs, something like that. I wish we had kind of the live stats up here, but she had an, an absolutely excellent game. and Great presence on the floor. Even watching her from here, you can just tell she knows what she's doing. Yeah.